surrogacy is a welcome development surrogacy has come to stay and i am so glad and i'm grateful for the people for the geniuses that are behind surrogacy for bringing it into existence because it has put a lot of smiles on people's faces so i am pro surrogacy i don't have any problem with surrogacy none whatsoever Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. This is Jux Michael. If you are new on my channel, you are highly welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with me. Guys, I know I've been so inconsistent and I just want to offer my sincere apologies. I'll try to become more consistent because it's beginning to affect my watch hours. I'm still trying to build up my watch hour and because I've been so inconsistent, my watch, ha my watch hours have been reducing so i'm just apologizing please don't judge me too harshly don't say that this youtuber she's not serious please edge your life is life in right now but i will try to show up more here and then gradually i will get back into posting one video a week okay so guys it's been a while i did this it's been a while i did a get to know me video and i have over 2000 subbies now yay I have over 2,000 subscribers now and I'm like, hmm, so many new people on my channel. The last time I did a get to know me tag video, I didn't even have up to 500 subscribers. So I decided to just come in here and tell you guys more about myself in the manner of question and answer. So I called up, I called up some questions from Google which I'll be answering in a bid for you, my viewers, to get to know me better. So sit back, relax, and let's dive right the into it. first question is, what's your favorite type of season? I love the cold weather. I love a cold weather. I think this question is also, it means what's your favorite type of weather? I like the cold weather. Guys, I sweat a lot on a normal day. I sweat a lot. So when we are in the heat season, oh my goodness. I go through a lot. <laughs> I go through a lot because I sweat a lot, my sleep is affected. So naturally I tilt towards the cold weather. It could be the rainy season, it could be the Hamatan season, but I prefer a cold weather. Yes, and we are in Nigeria, this is Africa, we don't experience that high level of cold. If I was living in the abroad, my thoughts may have changed. I may not enjoy the winter season, but as long as I'm here in Nigeria, in this country, I prefer the cold weather. So it could be the rainy season, it could be the hamatan season, but I definitely prefer a cold weather. What's your favorite genre of music? My favorite, my favorite genre of music is gospel music. I love gospel music. I love soul lifting, anointing, feeling gospel music gospel song i listen to gospel songs all day morning till night night till morning i don't get tired of them so that's my favorite genre of music what's your favorite form of exercise <laughs> if 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 you are an oldie in on my channel or if you've been watching my youtube shorts you could tell by now that my favorite form of exercise is walking going for long walks i think that remains my favorite form of exercise because i enjoy it i enjoy it and it gives me the liberty to think when i'm walking like my thoughts just wander so that remains my favorite form of exercise and i do at least 10,000 steps some days I do 8,000 steps 9,000 steps but I must work for at least 60 minutes anything from 60 minutes and above that is the shortest I would do I can exceed sometimes I do 90 minutes sometimes I do 100 minutes as the spirit lit and as my physical strength can carry me but walking remains my best form of exercise but recently I started gymming and I've been trying to lift up weight you know i've never been a fan of lifting all those heavy weights 10 kg 12 kg but i'm trying to build my strength so i've started lifting so maybe in the near future my favorite form of exercise could change it could change from walking to lifting but for now let's just stick with walking 
What's your favorite type of cuisine? <laughs> I'm a local babe. I'm a local babe. So my favorite type of cuisine is Nigerian dishes. Oh yes, I am not about to tell you my favorite cuisine is Italian cuisine or Indian cuisine or Lebanese cuisine. Mm -mm. My favorite type of cuisine remains Nigerian cuisine, Nigerian food. I'm a proud Nigerian. I'm a local girl to the core. So my favorite type of cuisine remains Nigerian cuisine. Thank you. <laughs> what is your biggest regret in life and how has it shaped you? Well, I don't have so many regrets in my life. The only regret I have is that after I served, after my NYSC, where I did my primary assignment, they retained me and Two years into doing that job, I wanted to resign because I wasn't fulfilled in that job. I didn't find any form of fulfillment. And the organization is very, very static. There is no growth. I wanted to resign from that job and go into my makeup business fully. As a matter of fact, it was, a, it, 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 it was as a result of the unfulfillment I had in that job. That was what led me to start makeup artistry. That was why I learned and started makeup artistry because I needed to do something that I, I would feel fulfilled doing. So two years into that job, I wanted to resign. But then I talked to my father and my dad advised me and said, you don't leave certainty to uncertainty. And I know that advice came from a place of love. So I ended up not resigning. And looking back now, I wish I could turn back the hands of time. And I wish I took that bold step and left that job. I did that job for 10 years. I never got promoted, I, it, it was just static and at the end of the day I was laid off during Covid. So guys, that is the only regret ever I have in life that I did not leave that job when I wanted to. What's your thought about surrogacy? Hey, my thoughts about surrogacy. See, surrogacy is a welcome development. Surrogacy has come to stay and I am so glad and I'm grateful for the people, for the geniuses that are behind surrogacy, for bringing it into existence because it has put a lot of smiles on people's faces, it, it has put a lot of smile on women's faces. So I am pro surrogacy. I don't have any problem with surrogacy, none whatsoever. If my husband is open to it and if the finances are available and we really want a third child, my dear, surrogacy is the option. So I have nothing against surrogacy, nothing whatsoever. It is a welcome development and it has come to stay. So I think people need to start on learning and relearning that there is nothing wrong with surrogacy. It is your egg, it is your husband's sperm. It's just that a different body is going to carry the fetus. That is, that is why it is a surrogacy. A different body is going to carry the photos and give birth but the baby is yours if you do a dna test it will be yours and it will be that of your husband it is it will not be that of the woman that bore the pregnancy so there is absolutely nothing wrong with surrogacy i am pro surrogacy can you share a habit or behavior you've worked hard to change or improve hmm. ah okay that has to be going miles for people going miles for friends carrying friends like a bag of rice while they carry me like a pinch of salt i've really worked on that being that now what i get is what i give i know that um in the time past the younger me when i was younger some years ago i would give my all i'm, I'm a very selfless person i offer myself when I'm friends with you or in any form of relationship I am in, I offer myself, I can do anything whatsoever, I can carry your matter on my head, I go all out there for you, I show up for you many times, and then most times I don't even get such. It is never reciprocated, but then I, I didn't mind, I'm like, nobody can change me from who I am, which is good, 
but I have really worked on that aspect of my life or of myself because see right now if you carry me like a pinch of salt I will carry you like a pinch of salt that's the honest truth I am no longer I'm no longer a people pleaser I am not doing for you to like me I am not showing up or going or doing different things for you to like me what you give is what you get if what what i'm getting whatever it is i'm getting from you it's what i'm going to give to you i cannot now i don't overstretch myself anymore for people i don't know if it's a bad thing now but guy i i needed to work on that aspect of myself because i felt that people we are taking advantage of it yes because once they ask jokes jokes will always be there offer herself offer her time show up show out you know but i've really worked on that aspect of myself and i don't like i said it could be good it could be bad but that is one habit i have really 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 worked on being a people pleaser does not pay or always going out of your way to do things for people or always inconveniencing yourself to do things for people and when the reverse is the case they will not even lift a finger for you i don't think it's a bad thing if you decide to pay them back in their own corner or if you decide to be that way if somebody cannot lift a finger for you then don't lift a finger for that person that is how i see it but if i know that you can lift a finger for me you can carry my matter on your head then why not if not i would gladly reciprocate i will also be that way so i've really worked on that habit and on that aspect of my life and i'm happy about it what is something you wish you could tell your younger self hey see this one there eh? something i wish i could tell my younger self is be more daring i wish i was i was more daring i wish i was more audacious is it audacious or audacious <laughs> to go after whatever it is that i wanted without listening to without paying so much attention to what any other person had to say I wish i was more daring that is the only thing i know that i could tell my younger self every other every other thing is fine or was fine do you currently live in the place where you were born? No, I was born in the eastern part of Nigeria, Enugu to be precise, and I currently live in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory. Do you think you're a friendly person? <laughs> this one, eh? Honestly, eh? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't think I'm a friendly person. I think I'm in between. And I think it also depends on the environment, or on the atmosphere, or where you find me. Like for now, I'm gymming, right? And when I get to the gym, I mind my business. I just greet. I greet whoever I see and I mind my business. I don't go about starting up a discussion with anybody. I just maintain my lane, do my routines, and I leave. Now, some people may feel, oh, she's not a friendly person, but I don't know, I don't know, but that's why I said, I think it depends, but I don't know, maybe when, when you meet me, you be the judge of that, I don't know, I don't know, I think I'm, I'm in between, depending on my mood, depending on the environment, depending on the atmosphere. When did you first feel like an adult? <laughs> Well, <clears throat> when I first felt like an adult was when I started paying bills in Abuja. Because <laughs> after NYSC, I had to rent a house. I, I left my uncle's house and I started paying rent. I would pay for light bill, water bill, and rent. So that is when I started feeling like an adult. Do you like cities or remote places better? Cities are big. Ah, I'm a city girl. Remote places. Remote places will bore me. <laughs> During NYSC, I was posted to Katsina. That was where I was posted to. And I went for my NYSC camp. From there, I went for, to the school. I was posted to for my primary assignment. Guys, you know, when I got there, I was like, is this where I'm going to be for the next one year? Guys, you know Katsina? It, it was in Sandamu local government. Guys, there was no life there for me. It was very, very removes and i'm like hey god how am i going to survive how am i going to survive in this kind of place i don't think i could luckily for me i redeployed back to abuja so i don't think i don't like remote places because remote places will depress me i'm a city girl i like where it's happening where it is bustling mm -hmm. i'm a city girl but i don't like lagos <laughs> because if i say i'm a city girl doesn't mean i like how lagos is no how this abuja you see how cool and calm it is it's a city right 
it's bustling but it's not like Lagos <laughs> so that's the kind of cities that I like not the one that everybody's angry and everybody's dragging something from someone else mm -mm. do you often listen to your intuition oh yes <laughs> I'm very very intuitive and the few times I didn't listen to my intuition I ended up paying for it dearly I pay attention I listen to it I don't even like okay there was one day I wanted to lift a bucket a bucket filled with water and before I lifted that bucket a voice told me the hand of this bucket is going to break don't lift it by the hand carry the carry it by the body for we are watching to interfere the moment I lifted up that bucket to lift it up or more the hand broke and the whole water poured on the floor ha! I just said ah I'm like hmm and I, I see I heard that voice tell me don't leave this bucket by the hand carry it up by the body but mba and uh, I ended up mopping and mopping and mopping the floor I was just angry with myself I'm like but uh, Shebi, Shebi you heard it why did you go ahead coconut head why did you go ahead and now this one like is a very very minor example there are much more serious things that I always listen to my intuition. I always follow my instincts. I don't ever doubt my inst instincts. I don't. I follow my intuition to the T. And I'm just grateful for that gift of being very intuitive because it has really helped me in life. Guys, I hope you are enjoying this Get to Know Me tag. Please, if you are, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the like button, okay? Would you choose uncontrollable fatting over uncontrollable hiccuping? <laughs> what type of question is this one? Would you choose uncontrollable fatting over uncontrollable hiccuping? Uncontrollable fatting. How? I should choose one between fatting and hiccuping. Uncontrollable. <laughs> I'm not choosing anyone, Biko. But if at all, or if by hook or by crook, you must choose. I'd rather go for uncontrollable hiccuping. Do you know what it means to? Choose uncontrollable fatting. You'll just be fatting up and down without control. And God save the people. <laughs> God save the people that you're with. If your if the fat is now very very smelly, ha, and you are now fatting uncontrollably. <laughs> because even the hiccup, you can't talk. You won't be able to talk. Oh, because you just. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm not choosing anyone. What is one question you wish people would ask you less? Haha, <laughs> this one now is a no better. It is when are you having another child? Nigerians, you people like prognosing. Why are you asking me when will I have another child? Please, why? I have two children and I'm very okay with them. Stop asking me that question. I don't like it. Why do we poke nose? Why do you tell other people the number of kids you think that they should have? Please, that's one question I don't wish to be asked anymore. Stop asking me. It's not nice. Stop asking people this kind of personal questions. You don't even know what they're dealing with. You think it's all about just getting pregnant and pushing out baby. It takes a whole lot more to raise children than to just being pregnant and betting them so if a couple decides that they are okay with two if they even say they are okay with one who are you to come and tell them that it's too small stop it you don't know their mental capacity you don't know their financial capabilities it can be anything whether it's one whether it's whether it's three it is fine stop asking people all this kind of voice ah, ah, ah well don't you want to go again your son is almost three uh -huh. and so and so what if i don't want to go again what is wrong with having just two children Play any instruments hmm. presently no but i learned how to play the keyboard when i was young and i played a little bit of it i know if i if 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 i'm in front of a keyboard now i can still hit some notes i can still play a little but keyboard is the only instrument i know how to play a little just a little do you speak any other languages Hmm. Yeah, apart from my dialect, apart from my mother tongue, which is Igbo, I speak a little bit of French because I learned French for like one year during my service year at Alliance Francais in Abuja. So I have a diploma in French. I wrote the globally recognized exam, which is called DELF A DO. That's A2. So I, but you know, one thing with foreign languages, one one thing with foreign languages is after learning or as you're learning to 
as you're learning that language but you don't even get to communicate with people with other people using that language the probability of forgetting is very high so all the things i even learned and i knew now i don't even know so much i still know the basics no doubt i still know the salutations in french the greetings salut ça va je m'appelle what is your name comment tu t'appelles je m'appelle mademoiselle jux michael i know all those basic 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 ones but i wish i could actually take my time to study french the spirit is winning but honestly the flesh is weak but yeah you cannot sell me and uh, you may even sell me if you start speaking deep deep french i will not understand but if it's the very very basic ones that has to do with greetings where are you going to or you're hungry all those basic words elementary french i know how to speak those words do you hold grudges or do you let go of things easily hmm. do i hold grudges yes and no it depends honestly it depends on the offender it depends on the kind of relationship i have with the offender to be very honest so it depends for some people i let go easily but then for some other people depending on how on what you mean to me and then you do something so awful or something i consider very very offensive and then you are now also claiming rights that you did not offend me uh, I can hold that kind of grudge, but I don't like keeping malice with people. I'm not a malicious person. So even if I hold the grudge, it is usually not for a long time. I don't like holding grudges and I don't think it's healthy to hold grudges. Yeah. So for some things I can let go easily depending on who and then for some other things depending on who again. I may hold grudge a little but after some time I will just let go because life is fleeting, life is too short to hold on to grudges, it is very very short. So voila guys, I hope that with these few questions that I have answered that you my viewers have gotten to know me better. Do you resonate with my answers? Do you have something to tell me? Please drop them in the comment section, I would like to read your thoughts about this get to know me tag so guys thank you so much for watching please watch this video to the end give it a massive thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't till i see you next time bye